Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much for joining us here today. I'm Prema Rahman, the Program Manager for MPAC's Campaign for Human Security. I'm standing here today on the corner of Foothill Boulevard, where in 1992, four police officers brutally beat Rodney King. As you can see, much of this street has vastly changed over the years, but try as we may to sanitize the image, our nation's deep-rooted social ills remain alive and well. The four officers who beat Rodney King were acquitted by a predominantly white jury. In an echo of that ruling, nearly three decades later, a Kentucky grand jury refused to indict the three police officers who murdered Breonna Taylor, instead indicting only one officer on three counts of wanton endangerment for shooting into a neighbor's home. Both these verdicts demonstrate not only a failure of our justice system, but also the failure to uphold personal security in our nation. Personal security ensures that we are safe from physical violence and is a core pillar of human security meant to be upheld by law enforcement. Through the Campaign for Human Security, MPAC is engaging with the federal government and with members of Congress to push for law enforcement reform and for better standards for personal security. Despite the near trillion dollars allotted for our national security, we the people of America are not free from fear and want. In the era of pandemic protests and political turmoil, everyday Americans, especially communities of color and underprivileged communities, struggle for basic health, economic, personal, and political security. Though different federal agencies and offices interact with these aspects of human security, there is a dearth of coordination and consolidation. MPAC will coordinate with these agencies to prioritize human security at the federal level. We will coalesce and convene among civil society and the United States government to identify and tackle the issues of human security throughout the states. From public health to police reform to voting security, we're ensuring that this campaign is not just a white paper view of the world, but we're dealing with real issues that affect us every day. Our campaign for human security seeks to pass legislation, measure the effects of our efforts, and ultimately to create an office of human security within the US government. To achieve that, we need your help and your support. And with that, I'll pass it back to you, Salam.